Hi, and welcome back to Seaport Homestead. I'm JR, and we're starting a project that has everything to do with these little guys behind me. And we're gonna start here in the shop because we've been dealing with nothing but rain over the past week. We've probably gotten anywhere from four to five inches of rain over the past seven days. So everything outside is completely saturated. Today is one of the first days that we have a glimpse of blue skies. So we are going to be starting our quail aviary in my wood shop and kind of building it as compartmentalized sections that then we're going to bring out here. But we got to get this project started because these quail, well, they're getting a lot bigger and they need a home. And I'm on a time limit like I always am because we have new baby chicks coming in the next few weeks. So I need to get this project started those guys moved out, so the brooder is available for our new chicks, but let's get to work. So me and Bailey made a quick trip to the box store to make sure we got all the material we need. Now, inevitably, we're going to have to go back because there's no way we got enough the first trip, but we got enough to start. So I'm not the only one that's having to do some work today. Bailey's out here staining these because she wants this thing to be nice and pretty. So I've got her working. This is her Christmas present. I know it's almost February, but we still got her out here working because she is having to invest in her own Christmas present, her own enterprise. And if she wants it to look pretty, she's gonna have to put the work in. Okay, so it's the end of day one. We got a lot of stuff done. Like this is our back wall. I built that today. That might not make a lot of sense right now, but it will when we're got it all in place. Now, Bailey's been really busy outside getting all these components stained. She's almost done. Is that the last panel? Yep. Last panel, all done. Everything's out to dry. Not gonna be able to work on this for the next two days. We're trying to piece this together between weather and work and scheduling, but we got a lot of stuff done and we're ready to get your quail in their aviary, right? All right. Okay, welcome back to day two of this aviary build. And we're really excited because we got a lot of stuff done on day one. We got all the panels built. We got some of the exterior structure stained and cut. And now Miss Bailey is working on the exterior back wall because we're gonna do a solid back wall on the north side of this aviary so these birds can always get out of the weather. We've got some other plans as far as how we're gonna enclose that in, which I think are gonna work out pretty good. But today we're gonna to be working on some foundation. So I'll bring you over to our chicken run to kind of show you some of the aspects that we're gonna be bringing over to our aviary. Now we took one of these Amazon chicken runs and put it on a foundation and that has added a lot of benefits because it has not only added a layer of predator protection, but it has also allowed us to use a deep litter method for our chicken run so these guys are composting the whole time. Now we're gonna be using something like this for our aviary and I brought you over here to show you these foundation blocks. All right, we really like these concrete blocks. You can get them at your local box store. There's two inch little gaps on all four sides that you can put dimensional lumber in. And for us, that is great because we can set up a little bit of a partition there to hold in that deep litter and hold out predation from those easy purchase points that they can try to pull in like on, or pull up on the welded wire. So we're gonna be setting these up on our four corners and we're gonna lay the foundation down for this aviary today and hopefully get some walls up. Okay, so I have met with my lead engineer and supervisor and we have decided that an eight by 12 foot aviary, which was our original plan, was gonna be a little bit bigger than what maybe we needed. But it, you know, go big or go home, right? Anyways, we would have ended up having to like take down our kumquat tree, we'd have to move our dog kennel a little bit. It would just create 
a little bit of unnecessary work for us. So we're gonna shrink that down just a little bit. Now that's fine. The panels that are already built are where it's going to be about eight foot by 10 foot. We were gonna have maybe this like horseshoe for wind protection, not super important because, well, we're not gonna do it anymore. But I wanted to give you guys the update because I just got updated. We're gonna shrink it down a little bit and we're still gonna house a lot of quail in here. So we're not too worried about that, but I gotta get to work. Great noise there. I'm just setting these first blocks. Yeah. Got to dig down a little bit. Hey, will you do me a favor? I've got a little trench and shovel. It's only about four inches wide. It's over there. Will you go get that for me? Will you hand me that eight foot uh, two by four right there? Long way or tall on top of these, okay? Like yeah. Now go get the level and put it on top. How are we looking? Like you just need to push that in a little bit more. All right, we'll pull this off the top. Let's try it again. It's perfect. Straight, but like it's not straight to the sidewalk. Which way is it looking off? It looks like it's in this way. All right, there's a method. You want to know what the method is? It's the three, four, five. Something about Pythagorean. Okay. You you met that guy? No, I've never met him, but I know no. His work. Okay, you know his work. If only I had a pencil. Three. Four. Well, do you want, where do you want it? You want it behind the board? Right there. Right there where you at? Five. Mm -hmm. You know what that means? This is a right angle. And you know how I know it's right? Because mm -hmm. I did it. Stop being so obtuse. There we go. All right, let's hope this fits. Watch your head.
done? They say hi. Four by four in that groove. Oh, I you went too far. I did. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm squishing my fingers. I need the sh oh, I don't need the Oh, hold on. Let me help. Ow, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, um, don't do that. Well, good evening. We are officially done today and it is time for chores. So we're gonna let out Miss Reese. Oh yeah, we're gonna bark. Sit. Eat. Good girl. Go feed the goats. Well, got to fix that. They freaked out about something and uh, jumped up there and knocked that off. So that's a fix I got to do tonight. Okay, so real quick in our side yard, we actually had a spot staked out for this aviary which is right here turns out though that is directly in the way of where our archery target is against the garden so we wouldn't be able to shoot our 30 and 40 yard pins that takes a lot of fun out of it so we moved it back here it's on the edge of a sidewalk or the end of that dead end sidewalk that didn't go anywhere so that's going to be kind of cool that it's going to lead to bailey's aviary and we Got a lot done today. So let me show you a little quick update of what we got done because I'm gonna have to take the next couple days off and it's just gonna have to sit here just like this, but we got a ton done. We got all the foundation done. We got three walls up, all the welded wire on those two walls. So it might not look like a ton, but believe it or not, that was a lot of work. Me and Bailey got that all knocked out today. So we're just gonna sit around the campfire tonight and have some good old family time before I have to go back to work. So make sure you're subscribed to our channel, give us a thumbs up, hit that notification bell so you're notified when we come out with new content. And we'll see you on part two of Bailey's Aviary Build when we get this sucker done. See you next time.